Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they're having it cut out on a CNC, maybe a router, I don't know. But it's got too many open, if you can see the arrows, arrows means that it's open. So there's a there's one double line that doesn't need to be there. Um, I think everything else is good. Uh, one, one is, okay, it's got a lot of double lines. So that could cause a problem. So let's just do this. Let's back up and let's just delete this. Well, can't yet. What we can do, I'm going to take a rectangle. I don't know why that line is there. And I'm going to take the smart fill tool and see it's leaking so bad that the smart fill tool is leaking. Um, I can't really see where it would be leaking that bad. Let me get rid of the rectangle tool. See, like that's a straight line, but it's not connected. And we can't, we can't fill it in with a smart fill tool. So let's try this. Select it all. Go up to your shape tool and select all the nodes and go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. I'm just going to set mine on point one. And now it should smart fill. And by smart filling, nope, we still got some leaks. I thought I would, I thought I could see some weird stuff going on. See, it's, it's, it fixed those. Well, it, like this ending, I don't know if this is supposed to be a straight, there's double lines, I can see them. You know, there's a double line right there. So it cannot, um, Corel cannot close that node because they're not close enough to close. Let's see what's going on there. That's really close. Let me try this. Nope, let me try this. Right click and close curve. See, there's another line there. A t total different line. I don't know. You know, probably the best way to draw this to start over. And if he likes that shape, let's just do this. Because there's too many double lines. Um, like, there it is right there. there. These lines should be inside of there. Now, we could probably fix that. Let me back up here. Let me see what the nudge factor is. Let's see how big this is. Let's make our nudge factor five and let's nudge this out of the, see there's even, it's even worse than I thought. Okay, this is all one piece. So what we can do, and, and you just kind of learn this by um, experience. See there's, now we should be able to close all these nodes and see you got blues and reds, so sometimes that doesn't even work. There's too many double lines. I mean, there's double lines on top of double line. So let's try this. Let's take our rectangle tool. I guess I should have really practiced this. Okay, there's no leaks there. My suggestion would be able to Let's see how many we're missing. We're missing five. Let's try this. I'm going to take the two point line. So you've got a little bit of a curve there on whoever drew it. Let's take a two point line and go from like right there to right there for right now. Don't worry about it right now. Take the smart fill tool and I am going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it all the way to that one. See, they're even a little bit off because I'm holding down the control button. You know what? I'm thinking, let's just redraw this whole thing. It won't take that long. And maybe you'll learn something. There's the line I took. So let me just get rid of it. Let me... Uh, I'm going to call this one my good one. 
So I'm going to take a two point line and I'm going to try to go right there. But that's not even. Let's try this. Try holding down the control button. See, I think it needs to be like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape and it's on the edge and I'm going to create a bar. This is a little unorthodox, but I'm going to create a bar that is, let me zoom in here. Use the parallel dimension tool, hold down the control button. Okay. It's 1.01 .01 inches and it is, holding down the control button and it's 47.46. So I'm going to go with my ratio unlock. I'm going to go 47.46 and 1.01. .01. Okay. Now I need to kind of see where he, I'm going to just say he's got it right at the edge. So we're going to take this one. I'm going to actually do it in red and I'm going to put it right on the start. And we can grab that node and it should snap to it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take another copy holding down the control button and see now mine is equal. I'm going to bring in an indexing line. Well, I turned his indexing lines off because he had so many. Um, but you can see mine and mine is right on that edge. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the middle. So let's select that shift, select that go to effects and blend and just blend it seven times. What that did is going to make it perfectly in the center exactly where they need to be. I'm going to get rid of all this garbage. I'm going to get rid of the indexing lines. I got rid of my rulers. Now there's two ways we could do it. And one of them might not work. I'm going to get this here and I'm going to go to the, see the well tool doesn't come up because there are too many shapes. So the smartest thing to do and probably the easiest by the time you figure it out, just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Delete that line. So you were deleting both lines, the red line, or I'm trying to. Oh, you know what? That's the only problem with the blend tool. You got to break the blend tool apart. It won't let you do anything. And I guarantee this will work. Okay. Once you break the blend tool apart, you got to go and ungroup it. And you know what? It might have welded now because of all that. Yeah, but it's not gonna it's not gonna break those lines because we're just right on them. But we can delete them. And so when you're drawing something like this, just kind of think about and with the last you know think about things and now the last smartest thing you do is fill that in and look. There will be no open. We're going to left click. We're going to go right click. We're going to make sure it's a hairline. I don't know what kind of CNC. He didn't say if it was plasma. Can't imagine cutting that out of metal. But if we now look at, you have a bunch of starting and stopping places, but they're, they're connected. So that should cut out. I'll send you this file and it's identical to yours uh, in shape and fashion. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.